Today, I'm going to share with you guys how to enhance your color grading with masks inside of Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. Now, personally, I don't think I've seen anyone do this inside of Premiere Pro, but uh, I just thought today like, yo, what if you could combine Lumetri color with masks kind of similarly to how you edit, you know, Lightroom photos um, with tripod shots? I'm sure you could do this with uh, moving shots, but you'd probably have to do that inside of After Effects. So. Today, we're just gonna do like tripod color grading. So let's see what type of results we can get with our uh, current setup right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. First things first, um, what you guys wanna go ahead and do is you guys wanna create an adjustment layer. And the way you do that is you either hit this right here or you find like a little area, it's like a dead space or something over here. Oh wait, no, you just right click up here, new item, adjustment layer, and then hit okay. And you just drag and drop it onto your timeline just like so now let's go ahead and create a sort of gradient mask and i kind of want to do a gradient mask like maybe with my desk over here so let's go ahead and turn the exposure down just like this and then let's also go over here to the pen tool and let's go to actually 10 percent and we're just going to select kind of something like this and maybe like that or maybe a little bit more so like that and then what you guys are going to see when we go back to fit is that this is really really dark but it looks really bad like it's not natural at all so you want to go over to this mask feather kind of similar how you do just in lightroom so if you guys know how to edit lightroom pretty much do the same exact thing same exact like sort of idea on here maybe you can even make it darker just like that just to really make me the uh the focal point now let's say we want to hmm so we want to make like this area brighter. Let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer. So literally you guys can see the workflow, very simple. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do like a circular sort of one, but like turn the exposure up just like so. And then maybe that's a little too much, maybe just like that. And then mask it, make it a little bigger, hold shift to make it a, or keep it a circle just like that. And then I'm also going to just bring this down like so, and then I'm going to feather it and we'll see how that looks. So with the idea of feathering, it like kind of just makes it a gradual change. Like it's not a harsh line. So this is a uh, before or yeah, this is before. And then this is actually after the color grading with the masks, which damn, that actually makes a huge difference. Yo, this is low key blowing my mind. That's actually crazy. Wait, yo, I've been I've been kind of slacking on the color grade. Yo, this is actually about to like unlock a whole new level of like creation, bro. Okay, so now that we kind of got that, we got me brightened up, we got this sort of darkened. Maybe we could add a little bit extra glow to the takeover sign. So again, another adjustment layer. And let's kind of see just how this really looks. Uh let's go ahead just maybe we do hmm, 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 hmm. What can we do here? Oh, wait, let's actually, so there's a green tint in this light that I really don't like. So let's see if we could actually remove that green tint by going into curves RG, or hue saturation curves and then selecting this color just right. Wait, like, no, like so, there we go. And then we're just gonna desaturate that right here just to see how it kind of looks. And maybe bring this down a little bit more like boom. Okay, where is that tint? Okay, that. So that's a little bit better. I don't think that's perfect, which it's definitely not. But as you guys can see, the the selection is making me super like you know desaturated. We don't want that. So again, we're just gonna go do a mask and then just bring it over here like this, and then we're just gonna go ahead bring this up just like that to where the green glow is at. Feather it a little bit. It's a little bigger, just like that. And then bam, there we go, dude. So this is after and that's before the adjustment super subtle but it does make a difference so again that is the entire process it's super chill you guys can actually go ahead and label these so you guys can label this like the uh let's go rename this will be like desk um and then this will be like subject so rename subject and this will be the takeover sign so sign anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy this video now this is a very simple easy thing to do but i think it's actually very powerful like this is actually my first time doing it i figured i'd share with you guys live like kind of what i would do and how it works um, but yeah i think it's really dope go ahead try it out let me know what you guys think in the description down below or comment section but with that being said go ahead feel free to watch this new video on screen but that is it for me today remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out